Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow Irishman Jason Doyle out to Poland on a wild boar hunt with Norma. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Lessening to an incredible first drive here in Poland with Chassor B hunting company. Um, all hell broke loose there. We just had pigs breaking through the line all over the place. I managed five shots, four were good, um, four pigs down on the spot, missed one behind. But it was, it was just crazy. Probably saw 15 or 20 pigs come through the line there, both sides of me. Um, yeah, really, really exciting. Uh, just the, in this sort of shooting, the, the aim point and the Merkel combination was just fantastic just a no magnification small red dot and just keep your eye on the target and, and just squeeze that trigger when you're on but those pigs are fast F first one was a little bit of an easier shot it, it was standing behind a tree and then just as it moved out I, I shot it but took another one from that group then and two more back behind me here and they were going full speed in the long grass back into the forest so yeah incredible experience <laughs> the adrenaline was really really flowing so this is the first one I shot good size sow. Um, I just paced it out there, it was 85 yards, 85 paces, and um, just high in the shoulder right here. And with that um, with that normal 170 grain tip strike, she just she just went over on the spot. Really, really pleased with that shot. And um, just gone down for a look, picked up the other two. I thought I'd shot four, but um, it turns out it was a miss. Came through the forest there and no sign, no blood, anything. So. Really exciting, but three down on the first drive. Great start to the day.
Well, nothing came my way on that drive. Heard plenty of shooting in the distance, probably eight or 10 shots further down the forest and saw some boar cross the lane about 100, 110 yards down. Five or six pigs gone like hell. Dogs were behind them. They really had some speed under them, so good to see them. I just wish they'd have been a little bit closer. Okay, so I managed to do something real clever. Left the tripod in the truck. But we've just come to this field of Jerusalem artichokes. They don't think there's many boar in it. But we could see a lot of damage that they've done. So I'm just in a spot where I'm looking in with a bit of a clearing that I'll be able to shoot maybe 30 yards. So hopefully we'll get something. And um, if I can set the camera up on the fence, I might be able to get it on a film. Well, that was pretty exciting. There was probably, I think, four or five pigs shot in there. I didn't see any until right at the end. That little blonde one just stepped out in front of me, just 10 yards and stood perfectly broadside. And um, I believe Lucas, my neighbor, has shot a really nice one. So we'll go down and see what he's got. I like Patrick. That's good. Thank you very much. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a great one. It was just standing five meters away from here. Number carte? Yeah. And that was the, the slug. The second shot was the slug, and this was the good one. Yeah. Slug from the drilling. Yeah. Beautiful pig. Yeah. Five miles high. Five miles high. So this is the last drive of the day. We've got a big gap out to my right here. 200 yards down to that forest. I'm Phil Massaro, gun writer from the United States. Uh, we're here in Poland on a, on a driven hunt. It, it's, been, it's been a fantastic time. Had a rough weather day today, uh, lots of periods of rain and strong winds, but when you, when you come on these driven hunts, you, you have an objective, but you really don't know what you're going to see, and that's the beauty of it. You know, uh, as they say, Dashbur, you know, may the forest bless you, and, and it really did. It showed us all kinds of different species under all kinds of different uh, terrain. We were in the forest, we were on some farms, uh, asparagus fields, and, and what have you. Uh, I actually had a red stag, a really pretty red stag, come in four meters from me and hop the fence. So that was a, 
uh, uh, an exhilarating moment for sure. But uh, it's the first time for me as an American here in Europe doing a driven hunt, and uh, I'm looking forward to coming back. <laughs> Well, that's King Jason there living the dream. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The grav season is underway a day later than usual. With the 12th falling on a Sunday, the first shots of the season came on the 13th instead. But it'll be a quieter than usual grouse season with many more suspending shooting altogether. This is to allow grouse numbers to recover after tough conditions this year with the beast from the east followed by this summer's heat wave. Basque said shoots were to be commended for their restraint. There's been a big announcement from the organisers of the Northern Shooting Show. All children aged 15 and under will get free entry to the show next year. This initiative, supported by Basque, is part of a campaign to ensure that the next generation of field sports fanatics has access to the sport. Early bird tickets for the show are now on sale, giving you a discount on the gate price, fast entry and free parking. Buy them now from the Northern Shooting Show website. A new agency is set to enforce shoot standards across the UK and help fight off legal restrictions on shooting by showing we can self-regulate. The British Game Alliance has launched its new shoot assessment scheme in partnership with an independent auditor. Supported by the major shooting organisations, it will promote best practice for food safety, bird welfare and environmental management. One member said well-run shoots have nothing to fear from this process and absolutely everything to gain. And finally, trap shooters should get themselves to buy well this weekend, it's the Clay Shooting Classic DTL. This trap extravaganza offers the chance to win a Beretta shotgun in the main 200 bird competition, but it's a lot more than that. Over three days you can shoot no fewer than 600 trap targets, including a prelim event, 50 pair double rise and double rise English and British Opens. Download an entry form from the Clay Shooting website or call buy well using the number on screen now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching, please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.